Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to another episode of Tech with Ro. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the new version of iTunes. I am running on OS 10 Yosemite 10.10, uh, version 10.10, .10, and uh, the new iTunes logo is uh, all red. I'm going to show you guys the basics of iTunes, and this is just to show you guys this is the latest version about iTunes. If you go to iTunes, about iTunes, it will show you right here, it says uh, iTunes uh, version 12.0.0.81, which is a uh, quite an extended version, <laughs> I would say. So let's uh, begin from left to right. I'm gonna show you guys everything, the basics of iTunes, that way you can get familiar with it as quick as possible. Right at the top here, we have the rewind button or the actual back button. Then we have the pause and play here. And we also have the go forward or skip to next song button as well. Then right next to it, we have our actual audio, the iTunes audio of the song. And then also you have your keyboard audio, which is completely separate from the actual iTunes audio. This is just the iTunes, the song volume or music volume. Here, you might not have this logo here. This is uh, basically like speakers, or you can use it for, if you have an Apple TV, you can transfer it to where you want the audio to be playing from. Like, I, since I, we have two Apple TVs, Apple TVs, we can connect it to either one here, and they will play the audio through that TV or the speakers through that Apple TV that's connected to. Now here we have the actual, the song, which I have currently after the world uh, acoustic edition selected here. At the bottom here, you have this little bar. This will skim you through the song and you can hit play and play it from that point of the song. And then also it's currently set on, it looks like uh, shuffle. If you click on that, it will you can put it to uh, play the next song, which would be after life. And uh, click on that again, it'll be shuffle, back to shuffle. Here is, it actually puts it on a list. This is mainly if you want to create a list. Let's say you don't want to play a playlist, but you want to play like a next song. You want to keep adding next songs. You can actually right click on a song on any of these songs and go to, to add to up next, meaning that each next time you after the song's finished, the up next song will be put in this song list. That song, the song's finished, you'll play that next song that you've already set to play next. Now I hope that didn't confuse you guys too much. Um, like I said, you can you can actually. Add, ask me anything in comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Then moving on to the right, you have your account. This is actually your account. It's connected to your iTunes store. This is what you make the account you make purchases from and all the following items. You can uh, go to redeem wish list, account info and sign out and log in as a different account. This here searching, you can search your library and search for any song that you may have or you can search for apps, uh, movies. It really depends on what you're really looking for. So going back over here and this is basically gonna be your main app navigation like uh, your movies if you have any if you've imported any movies tv shows itunes U, and it, as you scroll over them it actually tells you what they are that's what i'm showing you guys here and you got the apps itunes radio and then your uh, i device which is mine is the iphone it's not currently connected i do have it set to uh wi-fi sync that's why it is showing up here then just here the three bars you have additional options here that aren't showing up here you can actually customize this to what you use most by going to edit and then just check boxing the ones you want. For example, let's say I don't want uh, TV shows because I hardly ever watch TV shows. You can uncheck it and it will be removed from your menu bar up here. Now, as soon as if you change to movies, you pay attention to this navigation bar. If you change to movies, this navigation bar is going to change according to the movies and to what you're actually what section you're at. For example, let's go to apps. You can tell that this navigation bar changed again to according to apps like updates and my iPad apps, my iPhone apps. Now I'm gonna go back to music and we're gonna keep it on music for this time. We're gonna go to my music. The playlist is basically any playlist you may have, including on your iPhone. And then the match is it's something you have to set up manually. It's basically determines what songs you may like in the future and also uh, there's a whole subscription regarding it too as well. I'm not going to go into this at the moment too much. Then you have iTunes radio here, which is basically very similar. Uh, it's basically like internet internet radio here. But uh, if you go to music, iTunes radio is uh, it's through iTunes directly. There are advertisements when you're listening through uh, iTunes radio, but it, it is mainly a free service. Then you have the standard iTunes store. iTunes store is very simple. You, you go to search bar up to here and you can search anything in the iTunes store or you can go by categories and browse by categories for music. Or since we're on music right now, you can go to movies and then iTunes store. It will take you to movies of iTunes store. You can go to iTunes U and then iTunes store, iTunes U. And there you guys have it. 
Now I'm gonna go back to music and I'm gonna go to back to my music and you can actually see on the right here, you can categorize how you wanna see your music. Instead of just seeing them song by song, you can go view them by albums. And as you can see, now you have a whole album view of your songs. And then you also have go to artists, then you'll just see the artist list on the left hand side here. Then you can also go by genres, composures, and there's other options by going view options. You can make the actual artwork smaller if you prefer a lot smaller. I prefer the largest amount. And then uh, additional edits here, sort albums by, and I'm gonna leave it as the default for now. And I'm gonna change it back to song list up here. That's basics of iTunes, you guys. Uh, you can plug in your iDevice as well. Um, you don't have to sync it over Wi-Fi. And everything else should be very similar. Be sure to ask me if you have any questions at all. I'll be glad to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And uh, always happy to help. Thank you guys. Later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.